The following video is brought to you by Mycogen Seeds. Meet the demand for Omega-9 oils with Nexera Canola Hybrids from Mycogen Seeds. Saline spots, sour ground, alkali land, salt land. These are some of the names with which we try to describe our problematic spots in northeastern North Dakota. As per an estimate, there are around 5.8 million acres in North Dakota affected by these issues. To know more about these problems and how to bring these acres back to productivity, we discussed it with specialist Naeem Kalwar at the NDSU Langdon Research Extension Center in Langdon, North Dakota, who is specifically working on soil health issues. Hi, my name is Naeem Kalwar and I'm Extension Area Specialist for Soil Health with NDSU Langdon Research Extension Center. I'm also part of NDSU Soil Health Initiative Group to overcome soil health problems in North Dakota. Right now we are at a saline or sodic spot at our Langdon Research Extension site where practically nothing grows. If you look at the adjacent fields, they seem fine, they had good crop growth, whereas this spot produces nothing. What is causing this lack of growth? This problem is caused by soil salinity or soil sodicity. Soil salinity happens when soils accumulate excessive soluble salts, whereas when excessive sodium dominates within the soils, it gives rise to the soil sodicity problems. Unfortunately, soils can be saline or sodic or saline sodic at the same time. How do these problems affect crops? Excessive soluble salts deprive the plant roots from uptaking the soil water even under wet conditions, causing drought-like symptoms. That process is called osmosis. Excessive sodium, on the other hand, causes disintegration of soil particles and damage to the soil structure, called dispersion. That leads to difficulty in tillage, poor seed germination, poor soil drainage, and restricted root growth, along with increasing the potential for wind and water erosion. What are some of the major causes for soil salinity and sodicity in North Dakota? Parent material of the soils, including the underlying sodium-rich shell in the bedrock, is the major cause for soil salinity and sodicity in North Dakota. So, high groundwater levels will bring the salts to the soil surface. Heavy rains, surrounding seeps, poor soil drainage, and excessive evaporation of soil moisture will also lead to the severity of these problems. So now that we've discussed the problems and causes of soil salinity and sodicity affecting North Dakota crops, it is now time to break down how to combat these problems and ensure a strong, healthy crop. Tune in to part two as we discuss symptoms to look out for and the very practical solutions area farmers can use.